A very good morning to you all here at the Stanford Auction Rooms. I'm Jessica Wall. I'm the auctioneer, valuer and founder of this sale room. Now this particular auction is very special. It is the private collection of Malcolm Evans of Neath and Navenby. So very local and as you can see behind me includes this wonderful collection of clocks throughout his life. This was his passion, this is what he loved to do. So bracket clocks, long case clocks, all sorts of wonderful examples. And so I am going to uh, take you into the auction room and show you how well these clocks are going to sell today. Uh, it's amazing what a private collection can do um, to those prices. It really helps because it gives provenance. As you can see, it's not just long case clocks. We have some wonderful wall clocks, barometers. We have these fine, very, very fine specimens. This is by Webster and Hunter and of London beautiful quality clock. We have another Webster, Webster example here in a sort of more ebonised case and further along we have a fantastic Gloucester made bracket clock which is just wonderful to see. So as you can see there's not just one type of clock, there are many and I'm going to show you a few more. These lovely looking specimens are just incredible. This one here under the dome, uh, glass dome, is a skeleton clock, aptly named because you can see the whole of the mechanism, see it working, see everything in action, which I just think is absolutely wonderful. This is a fabulous 19th century example, and normally these make between five and 800, uh, depending on how intricate the mechanism is, and also um, how prolific the maker is. Um, so this is a really lovely example. Moving down here, we also have what we call a bracket clock. This one is in brass. Um, a lot of these tend to be French made examples um, and this one is no exception, a lovely little French one. Now these used to make between 70 and 100 pounds. They have gone down a little bit in value. So this one probably more like 40 to 60. And then to throw something else in the mix, um, I've picked out this one as well, which is um, a beautifully decorated um, English made clock um, with an Arabic dial rather than the Roman numerals and it is decorated entirely in this wonderful um, sort of deep red lacquered chinoiserie decoration which I just think is is really lovely and could make any mantelpiece come to life. So nice little group there. Now I'd like to show you a few of the watches. First one that I'm looking at um, is a lovely military example. Um, this is a Smith's W10 Gentleman's Military Wristwatch. Um, it has the Ministry Broad Arrow mark front and back as well. This has an estimate of four to six hundred on it. Um, I think that it should do particularly well because military watches are hugely desirable, hugely collectible. Um, condition is key with these things, so this isn't in the best of condition, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Next one um, that I'd like to show you is lot number 74, and this is a stunning 18 karat gold case pocket watch um, by S. Berman of Manchester. And it's got the lovely white enamel dial um, with the subsidiary seconds there. And if you open the case, which is in beautiful condition, I hasten to add, um, you'll see that the 18 karat gold marks are in here as well. Um, very fine, very lovely, with the original case and keys. So this is very good to see. Um, this will increase its chances of making the top end of the estimate, which at the minute um, is five to eight hundred. So that's it, an introduction to the clocks, the wonderful display of clocks that we have in this cell. So from me and from Mouse, we'll see you after the auction. 
Lot number nine is the Regency mahogany case bracket clock with a twin fuse movement. And uh, again, just a beautiful example. Webster and Hunter of London this time. And where should we sell this off? 800 pounds. At 800 I have, at 800. Looking for 850. 850 I have, at 8, 900 I have. 950 I have, 1,000 do we see? At 1,000, 1,100 I'm looking for now. At 1,000 pounds we have, 1,100 do we see? At one thousand pounds, then one thousand one hundred. At one one, do we see one thousand two hundred? We do. At one thousand two hundred, one three now. I think this is probably my favourite out of the bracket clocks mm -hmm. that we had. Uh, one thousand two hundred, one thousand three. Do we see? She's got beautiful style. One thousand three, one four now. At one thousand three, one four, one four. Do we see one five? Underbidder, are you coming back at 1,500? I have one four, we're looking for one five. Easy life, you've gone a bit quiet. Are you going to be bidding? 1,400 then, all done sure. Selling with you at 1,400 pounds on the selling, all done at 1,400. On this plenty, plenty of interest is a late Victorian, lot number 10, a late Victorian director's bracket clock by Maple & Co of London. Absolutely beautiful example. And of course, so much interest in this. We're going straight in at 700, 750, 800 I have. At 800, 850 do we see? At 800, 850, 850 I have, 900 now. At 850, 900 do we see? 900. I've already yeah. got it, I've already got it. 900, 950 I have, 950. We're looking for 1,000 now. 950, 1000, do we see? Yes. Telephone has it. 1200 over here. We're looking for 13 next. 13. Yes. 13 on the telephone, 14, do we see? At 1300, 14 now. At 1300 pounds on the telephone, 14, sale room, 15. Looking for 15. We have it. Are you coming back with one six? We do. One seven? Looking for one seven. No. Okay, thank you very much. Sale room has beat the telephone bidder there at £1,600. All done then at £1,600. Fair warning. Selling at £1,600. Lot number 36. Uh, we should have a telephone bid on this as well. We've got plenty of commission bids as well. This uh, mid 19th century brass skeleton clock. Fabulous thing. Love these skeleton clocks. Um, and we're straight in at 200, 220. At 220, I have. Looking for 240. 240, I have with me. Looking for 260. It's already with me. Two, 260. 280? Looking for 280. 280 on the telephone. 300, 320. 320. 320, 340. You're thinking about it. 340, 360. 360. Yeah. 360, 380. You'll kick yourself. Mm -hmm. 380, 400. 400. Yeah. 400. 420. I like this so much, I've just done a little YouTube video on it. <laughs> uh, 400 pounds then on the telephone. Are you sure you're not coming back? Don't regret it. I've done that before myself. 400 pounds, 420 to see. all done then finished. Fair warning to you. I have 400 pounds on the telephone, all done at 400. Oh, is the fabulous 18 karat gold case pocket watch by Berman of Manchester. Plenty of bids here. We're straight in at 1,000, 1,100 with me. I'll give you 1,200 now. At 1,100, looking for one, two. At 1,100 then. All done. Bang on their commission. Are you coming back? All done then. I will sell at 1,100 pounds. All done, sure. Fair warning, selling at 1-1. One, one.
Number 95, the Smith's W10 Gentleman's Military Wristwash. The Luminous Steel. We've got two of these, haven't we? So make sure you're bidding on the right one. Um, and so this is the one that's numbered 1249-68. And we are straight in at 450, 500, 550, 600. I have it 600. Looking for 650 now. At 600, 650 now. At 600, 650 now. At 600 pounds, 650 now. At six hundred pounds, they're not all done. Sure, six fifty, seven hundred. Looking for seven fifty now. At seven hundred pounds, seven fifty. Do we see seven fifty? I have eight hundred. Do we see now? At seven hundred and fifty pounds, eight hundred now. Really lovely example. Seven hundred and fifty pounds. Then it looks like we're finishing now. At seven hundred and fifty pounds, all done. Sure, fair warning, underbidder. Selling at £750.